Hello everyone, in this week's Extend Script quick tip tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to copy, paste, and delete files using Extend Script. Now, a lot of people don't know that you can actually have a lot of control over files and folders on your computer using a bit of JavaScript extended code. So today we're going to be creating a script that does a few things, one of which is copies a video in a folder and then deletes the original, renames it to new video, and uh, we can even do things like filter out uh, old videos based on certain names. So uh, this is actually going to be things that are immutable, meaning that once you delete files or move them, undoing them isn't really a thing you can do once you've done it with scripting. So I've just basically deleted the old video that was in this folder and it's not in my trash bin and it's gone forever. So just one caveat with doing file moving and deletions and things in extend script is they are permanent. So to get started, I'm gonna open a new JavaScript file and we're basically just going to first start off by referencing a folder with a video file in it. So I'll create a variable called folder, and this is gonna be equal to a folder object, and the path to this is in my videos test folder. So I'll just paste that right here. And an easier way to do this would be to use the relative reference location, and just like that, it will go to the videos folder on a Mac or PC. Then I'm gonna create a variable called files because I wanna collect all the files that are within this test video folder. For example purposes, I've just got one video, but if you had multiple, you could then loop through using this variable. So to do this, I'm going to say folder.get files, and this should give me all the files. So if I alert files, you can see it's gonna give me just the one called new video. Then I'm just gonna create a variable for my single video file and this is going to be equal to files and index is zero because we just have one and that's what it references. And now we can go over the different ways we can manipulate files like copying, pasting, and deleting. So in order to copy something, you just need to grab the file, so video file, and say dot copy. Now you can see it just says we need to give it a target. Now the target is going to be a reference location and a file name. So we can actually rename the file uh, within this string right here. So if I wanted to save it in the same location, I could just paste it right here. And to change the name of the file, I'm just gonna add another slash here and then define the name. So I'll just call this my newest video.mp4. So now if I go ahead and run this, it's going to immediately copy and create that new video with the exact same size dimensions and everything as the original. Now that we've copied our video, it might be useful to remove the original if wanted. And again, this will remove it permanently, no undos here. So make sure you have a backup. So to remove the video file, all we need to do is say video file dot remove. And remember, since we just copied this one, there's a copy and the video file is still gonna reference the original one. Now let's say we've done this a bunch of times. Um, we'll run this, change the name a bunch of times and then we'll have a bunch of different files in the folder. Now one last thing I wanna go over is how can we delete all these files automatically and keep the one based on something like text? Well, we can do a filtered deletion in a few ways. What I'm gonna do is just uh, comment this out and I'm gonna create a for loop to go through all of my files here. Remember I said if we have multiple, we can use this variable. So I'll say var i is equal to files.length minus one and for i is greater than or equal to zero, decrement i by one. So we're gonna start at the end of the files and make our way to the front, because as we delete them, it shifts the order of things. And all we're gonna do is give it one if statement, and if this is true, or if this case is met, then what we wanna do is say files i dot remove. So if some case is met as we're going through all these files, remove that file. So what is it we wanna do that tells it to remove the file? Let's just tell it if it doesn't have the text new video, because all these say my newest, my newest, my newest. So if it doesn't have the text, let's just say capital video, because these don't have capital video. So we're gonna say if files i dot name dot index of our text video is equal to negative one, then we want to remove it. So if we run this, it's gonna go through and remove all the video that don't contain this text right here. So this one just has capital video, the others didn't. And the reason it deletes them is it says, if the index of it is negative one, which means there's no text that says it, then remove it. 
So that's a little bit more complicated, but if you want to do a custom filter, that's how you can do it. You can just see if the text exists, or you could even check if the file type was a certain kind, uh, then remove it. But yeah, hopefully that's been informative for you guys. That's how to copy, paste, and delete files using Extend Script. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. To be notified of new videos every Monday and Thursday, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. But as always, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.